Yo guys, what is going on? Blossom is back and welcome back to another episode of Top Drives. Now before we start today's video, I want you to close your eyes and picture the scenario, okay? Picture the scene. It's a nice rainy day. Well actually, it's a nice rainy night. A nice Saturday night. Maybe you're not out partying because you partied too much because you went to a frat house in uh, <laughs> almost at middle school and university and you almost killed yourself. Okay, that's too far. That is way too far, but that almost happened to me. But let's just say this. It's a nice rainy night on a weekend, you're free and you're just playing some top drives. You're scrolling through your garage and you're always thinking to yourself, what can I do to make my garage better? What can I do to be satisfied? What is my current end game? Because when I first started playing top drives, that is exactly what I used to do almost every night before I went to bed. I would look at my garage, I would look at all the cars and I'd be like, Oh, I want to get this car, how am I going to upgrade it? How many of this particular ultra do I want to get? You know, always planning about what my garage can be. And I have to be honest with you, I'm pretty close to my ultra end game now. I'm at 497 max ultra airs. I'm very close to making a 500 max ultra video. Obviously, if any of the ultra airs go epic, like the Lancia O3, Seven, that's gonna bring the counter back down. But for now, as I'm making the video, I'm very close to 500 max ultra rares, and I'm only missing about 48 unique ultra rares, including prize cars now. So I'm in this situation where I'm nearing my end game, and I really wanna see how many of each ultra do I genuinely wanna collect in my garage. And here's the second thing every time I make a top drives YouTube video, I'm always making it with you guys in mind. Not to say that I'm not making it with you guys in mind this time, but usually when I make an inf uh, informative video, I would always say get two or three. The reality is, right, when I tell you to get two or three, I'm probably gonna try and get six or seven. That's because I play top drives on a new level than most of you do, and I don't want you guys to play top drives as much as I do, because it's borderline pretty unhealthy. <laughs> but um, I want to show you what my expectations are. I want to share with you what my expectations are for my garage, especially for someone that plays clubs as much as I do. And obviously, Outshare is basically my most um, used and one of my most favorite rarities in the entire game. I'm gonna do a two-part series of what I want to call my Outshare Endgame. Basically, every single Outshare non-prize in the game, I wanna tell you how many I think is enough for my garage. So very simple, we have five plus, four, three, two, one, and community service. Because my end game is to collect every single outro, whether I like it or I don't, whether it's a great car or it's completely useless, I wanna get one of every outro maxed. I'm in this position where I can do this now. If you're an intermediate player or a mediocre player or a beginner player, you should probably just focus on Blossom Choices and really, you know, the cars that fit the best. But I've made a million videos about those. This is more of a collector's, you know, end game experience player kind of video. How many of each outro air do in the game do I think is enough for my garage, knowing how much I play. So without further ado, I'm not gonna be talking about the cars too much. We're just gonna be selecting the cars and I'm gonna put them in their, I guess, respective tiers. So let's get into it. The first one is the Infinity Q60 3.0T. One is enough for me. Uh, now, obviously, I'm not gonna really say how to upgrade each and every single car over here because I've already made the ultimate ultra upgrade guide. So if you wanna see that or the ultimate RQ guide, the link will be in the description below to the playlist. Next up is the Nissan Pulsar Nismo Concept, and I think two is enough for me, even in the long run. Uh, the Subaru Forester is going to be one. The Aston Martin V8 Zagato is going to be community service because this car is absolutely hot garbage. Uh, and really, most of the cars that I put under community service are going to be absolutely hot garbage slash Volkswagens. The BMW 530i, once again, community service. Um, now, not that's not to say that I'm not going to collect these. I will collect them, and I have, and I will max them out. But, you know, at least for the Infinity and the Subaru Forester, I'm just like, okay, yeah, one is enough. I can get enough value from one. But cars that fall under community service is like, I'm maxing you out, but I know I'll probably never, ever, ever get value out of them, ever. Um, next up is the BMW 650i convertible. That's going to be one. One is fine. M5 is going to be community service. Escalade EXT is going to be one, mainly because I kind of use it sometimes for very low RQ hill climb stuff. Um, the Dodge Caliber SRT4 is going to be community service as well. The Ford Escape is going to be one. 
The Mustang 2.3 is going to be two. Now I only have one Ford Mustang 2.3, but going into the future of my garage for my end game, I would probably get a second Max Mustang 2.3 down the line. And that's not to say that this car is absolutely amazing and you should get two. Like I said, this is coming from the perspective of me. <laughs> I am quite radical with how many duplicates I want to get for each car. I don't think that you guys should copy what I'm doing over here because it'll take a lot of time, a lot of fuse, a lot of money <laughs> all right Hummer H3 is gonna be one mainly because there is the prize car the red Hummer so obviously guys I'm only going to do RQ 50 to 57 for this video Lamborghini Mira S is gonna be two mainly because you get 3.50 to 60 when you max it out the Lotus Elise 135 is going to be a five pluser for me uh, the Maserati Ghibli Cup is going to be a one the Pathfinder is gonna be community service the 208 is going to be one because there actually is value that you can get in a 208 even though it's French and it's front wheel drive and it's hatchback Back, which is basically every like niche that I hate um, it's not community service because it's actually really lightweight and handles well and has medium ground clearance so I'm fine with one same with the Porsche came on as well as the Renault Sport the Subaru Baja Turbo as well is gonna fall under one uh, and the Volkswagen Golf GTI is gonna fall under community service the Infiniti QX56 as well community service uh, and the Nissan 370Z is gonna go under one next up is the Alpha Mito GTA now this car you can somewhat get value out of I'll put it in two it's one of those strange cars where it's like, yeah, maybe one day I'll just 332 it just because I acknowledge it as a low 0 to 60. Um, but the MRA on the Alpha is garbage. I mean, if I remember correctly, I think it comes in at 50. Yeah, 50 MRA. So it's going to be super, super niche uh, situations where a 332 Mito might actually get you some value on a quarter mile and only on a quarter mile. But hey. I'm gonna put it there. Uh, Bentley Azure T, I'm gonna put it under community service along with the BMW X3. Uh, the Cadillac CTS Sport Wagon, one is enough. Um, the Cadillac Escalade is going to, well, one is enough as well. It's gonna be really low 0 to 60, 6.3. Um, the Camaro Z28 SS is gonna be community service. And the Dodge Charger 3 is gonna fall under five. Um, next up is the DS7 Crosstrack, and I'm gonna put that under one, although it has four wheel drive center tires. The Countach LP400. I'm okay with like two, mainly because I really only use it for the test bolt. If it's going to be one mile, quarter mile, or half mile, uh, there are better options for me to use. So the Countach is only going to be for the test bolt, and it's it's really rare for you to see more than two test bulls in the same track set and at the same time there's also the Aston Martin Bulldog which is better um, and I have two of those so technically having two Countach and two Bulldogs would technically put this up at four because they kind of just they're only used in the same niches and tracks basically not niches sorry tracks uh, and then a Maserati Shamal is gonna be a one I don't think that these two are that hot garbage enough to fall under the community service that's not to say that all these cars are actually actually not hot garbage some of them actually are but like they're just like less hot garbage than these if that even makes sense I'm not making a tier under hot garbage my goodness Mazda CX-9 is gonna be two uh, just because it handles pretty well uh, and then these ones are pretty interesting because like they're all ba basically the same so I can say one of each but when you say one of each it's basically having three <laughs> Um, the Mercedes-Benz E500, I'm going to put under two. Uh, one, I want to do three, two, uh, two, three, three, and the other one at three, three, two. I currently own one E500, and that is at three, three, two. Uh, the MRA on the mark is actually pretty freaking high. Uh, it is 88.58, so a drag spec is in order. The Mercedes-Benz GL350 is going to be a one. The Opel Atom is going to be a four. Um, the Opel OPC Extreme is going to be a two, just because it's a bit, I don't know, man. I, I prefer using the Elise. I, I just do. Um, just because it's just lighter. Uh, the Solstice is going to be a two. Uh, the Magon is going to be a three. Um, the TBR Griffith is going to be a one. I think that'll be fine. Honestly, 332, that one. Uh, Volvo XC90 is going to be a one. A lot of these cars are just going to be ones, I think. It's really when we get to the second part, at RQ58 and above, I'm going to be putting a lot of cars above two. Uh, the Infiniti G37 PL is going to be a one, along with the Infiniti Q60. The Lavorg is definitely five plus. The Acura RSX is going to go under two. Um, the Alpha Tipo, Alpha, yeah, Alpha Romeo Tipo 33 is going to go under two as well. I will go 323 and 233, mainly because the Tipo 33 is a bit of a sleeper. This one doesn't have the sleeper tag, although I think it should, mainly because the Tipo is incredibly light, coming in at 700 kilograms. So, yeah, it, it, I know it doesn't handle as well as, let's say, a Lotus Elise. 
but it is a bit of a sleeper on the slalom in the car park. It's a better version or an ultra rare version of the super rare Julia. All right, moving on now is the BMW 330D. That is going to be community service. The 645 uh, CI is going to be one. H2R is going to be one. Enclave, one. Uh, Crossfire, one. Focus, one. Jaguar community service. Lamborghini community service. Now I know that the 52, I think LP whatever the hell it is, LP 400S, I can't move my neck too much because I kind of injured it while I was on the treadmill. I don't even know how I did that, but I did. Um, the, the MRI on this thing is pretty strong, don't get me wrong, but it's, uh... <laughs> It's just, it's no Thanos Kuntosh, you know what I mean? The Thanos Kuntosh is just a brother that is incredibly better. <laughs> the Ghibli, I'm gonna put it on the one, uh, the John Cooper Works is gonna be one. Trans Am is Community Service, Rover Community Service, Renault Clio Sport, I'm gonna put it under one. Tribeca is going to, surprise surprise, actually be one because, you know, it handles decently, I would say, for an IQ 55. Um, Four-wheel drive, all-service tire car. Suzuki Kazashi, I'm going to put it in three, mainly because if, if I had the choice, I'd rather have five plus Lavorgs and just have three Kazashis when I only need saloons. Um, and then the TBR Griffith, I'm going to put that under one. This TBR series is going to be a one. The Volvo V90 is going to be a two. Um, the Nissan Micra is going to be a two. The Subaru Legacy is going to be one. The Tribeca is one. The Alfa Giulia Veloce, I'm going to put that as a two as well, mainly because it's a pretty decent hybrid for a saloon. Um, next up, the Aero Atom, the only freaking Ultra Rare I can't seem to unpack. Never! I've never unpacked the Aero Atom once in my life. Never! From any ceramic pack, from any carbon fiber, I have never, ever, ever, ever unpacked an Aero Atom 1. Makes no sense, considering since GE released, I've probably opened, I want to say 75 million. Maybe even more, maybe even a hundred million worth of ceramic packs. Not once have I unpacked the Aerial Atom 1. I don't know why. Uh, DBAR1 is community service. The BMW i30i, 130i is community service. The 640D is going to be a 2, mainly because diesel. Uh, not a lot of diesels out there. BMW X5, community service. Chevrolet Cobalt is going to be... Oh, I'm an American collector, so I'll put it in 2. But I think for most of you, it might be a 1. Um, next up, Dodge Charger Daytona is going to be a 3. Um, the Dodge Circuit EV is going to be 5+. plus. Uh, Dodge Neon is going to be a 1, Donkavort 1, Ford Bronco, I'm going to put that in a 3 as well. You know what, bump it up to a 4 because of high ground clearance, decent handling, and a very low RQ, so it's a bit of a bargain. Uh, 5.079, I think 2 is fine, honestly. Uh, Jaguar XJR is going to be community service, the Benz is community service, Outlander is going to be a 1, 370Z, 1, Juke is going to be a 3, mainly for clubs, uh, for Ocean City Slot. That's the only time the Juke Nismo is actually going to get you a lot of value. Uh, Murano is going to be a 1. RCZ is going to be a pretty strong one, I would say. Medium ground clearance. Targa, 1. A lot of these cars are just 1s, man. Uh, Vauxhall is a 1. Infinity is community service. Q60S, I would say 2. 1 drag spec. The first one should always be drag spec. And if you want, the second one can be 233 to get you that 89 handling. Um, the Nissan Silvia is going to be a 2 as well because I like the little hybrid it brings to the table. Uh, Legacy is also going to be a 2, much like the Infinity 1 drag smack, and 1 if you want to capitalize on the 81 handling because if you 233 it, then you get 90. You know what? I'm not even going to put up a 3. That's one of the few cars at Subaru where you can get 996, 969, and 699 and it'll get you some kind of value. You have dry spec, drag spec, and wet spec in all, all in one. Um, then the Aston Martin V8 Vantage Volante is going to be 2, uh, 332, and 233 I would do it. Um, the Bentleys are all going to be community service over here. This one just handles a little better, so I'll put it at 1. Uh, BMW 335i, community service. BMW community service, 640D. This one is diesel and medium ground clearance, so it's going to be 2. Um, I'll put the two diesels together. BMW M3 is going to be 1. Caterham, 240, 270, sorry, is going to be 5 plus. Of course, 10 if I could. Uh, Tahoe Custom, as much as I love you, is pretty trash, so uh, community service. Di Tommaso Pantera is going to be 1. Uh, Mountain is going to be two. You're getting medium ground clearance, great handling, and the estate. Um, Fort Sierra is going to be one. Uh, Countach LP500 is going to be two. Um, Mura SV is going to be three. 
Um, then we have the Delta Integrale, a wet spec and a dry spec. I'll put that in two. Um, Land Rover Discovery. I'll actually both of them. I'll put them in ones just because. Eh, well, actually, you know what? The the the, the P the P two fifty is gonna be one, but the Discovery is gonna be community service just because same MRA, uh, same handling. Sorry, same RQ, but the P two fifty has better handling. Lotus SX Turbo Esprit. Now, if I remember correctly, the Lotus actually has decent MRA, 85.76. So if I really wanted to really dial in on that, you know, Lotus slash 19 whatever year it's from. <laughs> what, are you, what year is it from? It's too small in the picture. I can't see it. 1980s. That's what it is. I, I got Top Drives Club on the second screen. Uh, if you really want to dial in on those niches, then a, a drag spec in a 233 won't do you too bad. Uh, Lotus Europa S is going to be a 1. Uh, Quadraporte uh, Community Service. Service, man. Uh, Ben's G500 one is fine. Uh, GLC is gonna be one. Uh, S350 community service. Pathfinder is gonna be community service. TVR Griffith 400. Now, if I remember correctly, the MRA on the TVR isn't that bad either, I think. 70. Oh, that's pretty bad, actually. I think it's just light. and It's a bit of a hybrid uh, community service. Um, Q50S. I want to put this down as three... I can see myself getting four, mainly because I'm a saloon collector. Not a lot of saloon medium ground clearance Japanese cars with rear wheel drive out there. So I'm going to put that as a four. Most of you probably won't need to get four of that. But like I said, today's video is coming from my perspective, baby. Um, Legacy B4 Blitzen. I'm going to put this alongside the other Blitzen at three. Um, and then we have the Acura NSX, two will be fine. Um, and then we have the Acura TLX. Oh, Acura TLX, I play clubs a lot, man. I mean, that's the best front wheel drive center tire car outside of the G4s and slalom. So yeah, I wanna get five plus of that. I got three and I want more. Uh, these BMWs, where I'm gonna put them, I, I'll put it at one, they're not that bad. Uh, put you at one as well. The 520D X drive though, this one's definitely five plus. Um, and then we have the BMW 530, that's community, 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 trailblazer. Oh, yeah, now we're going to have to do a lot of scrolling, and I've totally lost where my Trailblazer has gone. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah, we're going to slowly move you up all the way to 5, my man. Um, just wait till you see. There are going to be a lot of Blossom choices in the 5+. plus. Chrysler is going to be... Uh, I I like the uh, 0 to 60 in this. I have it max. 4.4 0 to 60 for a 55 RQ medium ground clearance standard giant car. It's not bad. I mean, the MRA is bad. I get it, and there's no top speed, but... Still, 4.40 to 60 ain't bad. It has 62 MRI. I mean, it's not good. So, uh, Chrysler, Fish Car, 1. Uh, Di Tommaso Pantera SI, I'm going to give that as a 1. Uh, Dodge M80, I'm a Dodge collector, but also I see the value in it because it's a pickup truck, a two-seater, it's lightweight, and it handles at the same time. I'll give it a 2. Nitro is community service. SRT4 is going to go under 2. Um, Aria's Cosworth, once again, is going to go under 2. Medium ground clearance, four-wheel drive, lightweight, handles pretty well. I see the niches. I see the niches. Murano is going to be community service. I Nah, you know, I'll put the other Muranos up here. I'll put it here as well. Uh, would it be fair? Otherwise, Peugeot 308, community service. Trans Am, community service. Renault Desire. Ooh, four or five plus. Four or f I'm going to put it as four. I know that it's better than the Elise, but the Elise is cheaper to use. When I can use an RQ55 Renault uh, Desire, I'm already thinking about if I can save even more RQ to rather just use the Lotus 340R. So I'll put it as a four. Um, what else? The Magan, another ultra I can't seem to unpack to save my life. I'm going to put that as a three. Medium ground clearance, it handles really well. It's a cheaper version of the trophy. So I have three of those max. I want three of the Magan R26 max. Um, the Ascent is going to be uh, is gonna be community service. At this point, when you're 56 RQ and you only have 70 handling for a four-wheel drive SUV, especially if you're in a Japanese niche when all the SUVs handle very well, those are some really bad stats. Super Impreza WRX is going to be community service. The Alfa Romeo Alfetza, I'm going to put that under three. Not a good car, it's just Alfa Romeo times five shows up in clubs a lot. And I don't want to die in the road less taken track sets. And then the two Aston Martins are community service. The Escalade ESV is going to be a one, just drag spec. The Chrysler Atlantic is going to be one. Wait till we get to the Phaeton. The Phaeton is probably two or three. Um, Honda NSX, I'm going to put that as a two. Um, Infinity QX50, once again, I'm going to 
probably put that as a two, um, mainly because you're gonna get 85 handling. Now that's an outdated picture. So you'll get 85 handling, rear wheel drive, all surface tires, has some niches, doesn't show up too much, but like I said, this is my end game goal, so I think two and I'll be happy. This this basically means, right, guys, like if I have two Lamborghini Miura S's, if I ever unpack a third or fourth or a fifth, it's gonna be straight up fused material. And it's the same thing for these cars over here. From now on, if I get like a fifth Adam R2, if I already have four max, and I do, I would just fuse the fifth one. The Bronco, not so much. I only have two Broncos max right now, so I need to get two more. Desire, I have two Desires max, I need to get two more. Same thing for the Infinity. But you get my point, I, you know, I want to get myself in a position where basically every single outro I unpack is going to be fused material unless it's Blossom Choice. Because like I said, for these five plus cars, I'm going to be getting at least, uh, you know, five plus is just to simplify things. Like if I could put myself in a perfect situation, I would like to get at least eight um, maybe more, 10 maybe, of the Charger 3 and the Lotus Caterham 270. Maybe even 15, so yeah. Uh, F-Type is going to be 2, 1 drag spec, 1, 2, 3, 3. Um, X-Type is also going to be 2, mainly because it's a slightly worse version of the BMW. I'd rather use that any day of the week. Um, Lotus Esprit Turbo. Now, this one also is really good at Mare. I believe it is 88.08. .08. Yes, it is. Lightweight as well, so I'm going to put this as a two for a drag spec as well. Uh, what's the other low tie? I, I put the other SX in here, didn't I? Yeah, over here, yeah. So same thing, one drag spec, one, two, three, three. Uh, Assetto Corsa, these two Maseratis, I'm just gonna put it as one. Um, Maybach Lawn Delay, I'm gonna give it a three. I think three should be enough. Just because its niche doesn't show up that much. Uh, Mercedes AMG G55, one is fine. Um, 911 Carrera, one is fine. Your community service, I know a lot of people like the roof R56, but guess what, I don't. <laughs> I think it's trash, I really, it just doesn't have any niches to it, you know? It's, rear drive standard is already bad. Like, you need to stand out, and it doesn't stand out. Uh, roof Turbo 3.3, one is fine. Cal uh, Calibra, I'm gonna put it two. Mainly because there are not a lot of four-wheel drive, low RQ style icon cars out there. And that's legit what I'm gonna be used that only for. Um, 370Z Nismo, I'm gonna put it at two, just because great handling. Uh, Legacy is community service. Ignis is going to be five plus for sure. Um, Bentley, Mulzahn, and Design Series are both going to fall under one. The BMW i35, 135i is community service. The 435i, however, is going to be one. Um, the 540 community service, the X3 is going to be one. The X5 is community service. The XLRV is going to be two, mainly because of Cadillac clubs. Um, Caterham 360, I think, honestly, one is fine. You're getting too close to the Lotus... 340R territory, and I'd rather use a Desire over a Caterham 360 anyway. Uh, Aerovet, I'm going to put it under 3. Uh, Imperial Concept is going to be Community Service. Fate's an interesting one. I'll give it 2. Uh, 332 and 233, much like the Lotuses, that should suffice. Dodge Magnum is going to be 1. Donka Ford Z-Tech is going to be 1. Ford Taurus is going to be 1. Civic Type R! Uh, three. Uh, you want three of a kind for this one, much like the Blitzens, uh, 233, 323, and 332. They all work on the Civic Type R, so I'll give that a three. Jaguar is gonna be a one. Lancia, I mean, sorry, Community Service in the Jag. Lancia is going to be a... 57 RQ, way too close to the yellow Lancia Delta Integrale 2, so I'm gonna give that a 1. Uh, next up, Lotus Exige, uh, 1 as well, even though it handles very well. Birdcage, 1. Uh, AMG SL73, 1, just a drag spec version is fine. It's really, the thing about the SL73 is it doesn't have MRA and a 68 MRA. And it's really heavy. It doesn't look like it, but it's 2,050 kgs. Um, I'm sorry, but that's Bentley numbers. Uh, AMG SLK32 is going to be one. Uh, uh, Benz E430. I think this one also has pretty good MRA. 88.73. I'd give it... I mean, it's still no long delay. I'll give it a one. Um, Mitsubishi Evo 1. I would give this a four. Uh, because it's just a better, I mean, not better, just a cheaper version of the Evo 4. Um, and if the Evo 4 goes epic, then that Evo 1 is probably going to be your best bet. Uh, Pathfinder is going to be 1. Um, Corsa is going to be definitely 5+. plus. 
Um, 205 T16 is gonna go under two. Um, Range Rover Evoke Community Service, P400 Community Service, 450 SE, one is fine. Uh, Griffith as well, I think it's called. No, Chimera, sorry, one is fine. Griffith, this one, also one is fine. And then we end off with a Volkswagen Touareg and the Volvo V70. Vol uh, the Volkswagen is going to be community service and the Volvo is going to be one. But that's basically going to be it. That is part one of every single outro non prize in the game. If I would want, if I wanted to be like Thanos, you know, and, and go and retire and not worry about how many Altrois I'll ever have ever again, then this would be the list. Once I have four Desires, once I have four Evil Ones, once I have four Opal Atoms, that one I already do, then, you know, I'm at peace with myself, you know, I can fuse any other Atom that comes my way. Same thing for the cars that fall under three. I already have three of the Renault Magans, I think. Um, I have three of the Civics. I have three of the Londelays. I have three of the uh, Aerovet. I have two of the Mira SVs and two of the Kizashi. So they're getting there. They're getting there. They're getting pretty close. But basically, in my very high expectations, this is what I would like my final endgame Ultra Rare Garage to be. I'm very close, I would say, to collecting every Ultra Rare in the game. The thing is, Top Drive's updates come at such a slow pace, I'm able to catch up quickly, and I'm able to catch up faster than new cars even come to the game. So, like, let's say we get a new big update, right? And maybe there's 300 new cars, 80 of them are Ultra Rare. Well, guess what? 80 new Altrares and then new update, but from the time it takes from one update to the other, I can max out probably like 200 Altrares. So eventually, I know I will hit the end game for Altrares. That doesn't that isn't to say that you know once I hit my end game for Altrares, I'm gonna quit the game. That really just means that once I'm happy and content with the Altrares I have, I can start focusing on epics and nothing but epics and that's when you really you know come into your own i'm already slowly doing that i'm already working on a lot of you know epic uh passion projects as you can say i recently maxed out a second m3 cs which is something that i never needed for a tri series i just loved it and also it's great for clubs and the other one is the ford gt40 which i recently just maxed out at 332 as well because it is the second highest mra epic in the game only behind the roof yellowbird it's the american roof yellowbird i'm an american specialist so it makes sense i go for the ford before I, I max out my yellow bird but anyway guys that's gonna be it five plus four three a lot of cars falling under two now a lot of these cars that fall under two are actually pretty good um you know they're they're they, either they have multiple niches or they can get the job done in many uh, scenarios cars under one are pretty bad but they're not the worst of the worst and then cars under community service so if you really wanted to see what truly was the true hot garbage of garbage this would be it. You can take a screenshot of the screen. This is what I think are the worst <laughs> Ultra Rares in the game. Like the worst of the worst. Because there's some really bad Ultra Rares in Cars Under 1. But like I can see that, you know, one day the Tribeca might give me some value. You know, one day the Escape might give me some. In fact, it has. Um, I forgot what tag, what special tag it was, but it has. But these... I cannot see any scenario, any tag, any event, anything in clubs where these cars would help me with anything at all. And I think there are barely any Americans in here as well. There's like a Nitro, a Caliber, and, and a Tahoe, and that's about it. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it. Let me know if you agree or disagree with my list. This is part one of my Ultra Endgame. The second part will be focusing on RQ58s to 64s. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Remember to stay safe, wash your hands, and Blossom out. Peace. Bro, this song just makes me so happy. <laughs> me too. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly, got a jet box back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies, they so fine. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly, got a jet box back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies, they so fine. 
sit back, relax in my Bonneville Pontiac, hold tight all night, cruise to Jacksonville Atlantic, blonde hair, don't care, look like Leslie Brooks Pin up girls everywhere with the drop that looks Swing it side to side as we slow dance to the night When I'll hold your perfect head and take you out just for a ride Wish our milkshake